What's going on, y'all? Chris Luda here, back with another video on your screen. I'm here. You know, he's been on the channel quite a few times. It's been a minute, though, since he's been on the channel. But um, I want y'all to, you know, stay ready, stay tuned. You know, this is Ferris Dixon, the third bro. And how are you doing? You know, welcome back to the channel, bro. How has everything been going in boxing? Um... You no, know, everything's been going good. You no, know, I'm just staying in shape, staying in the gym, working, talking with my team. You know, we got a little male, little miss the functionist over here, but you know, we'll get it together. It's just a part of the game that happens. Facts for real, bro. Talk about you know, your four and oh, you know, which one out of the four fights that you were like, man, that was my best performance. Uh, I would say the like my last fight. I say my last fight because everything in that fight, I didn't fight the way I like. I didn't. I didn't want to go in there with my game plan. My game plan was gonna try to kill him and knock him out, get him out of there. But I went in there with the game plan, listening to my coaches. The game plan of just, you know, it's a four round. It's my first six rounder, so I just went in there. See if I can go to six rounds, see if I can break them down, see if I can stay, keep the same energy through all six rounds. And that's what happened through the whole fight. I was just energetic. I was placing my shots. I was sharp, making sure everything was there, doing everything they told me. Everything we worked on in camp, exactly what I did in the fight. So it was like, it was just everything I knew. So it's just I had the good team around me. I had the, you know, the coaches around me, Coach K, you know, Julio Hernandez, you know, those guys, they, they helped me a lot, you know, with the sports. So I can't complain about it. I'm just getting better. Yeah, bro, for real. Any updates, Um, you know, f future fights that's in the making right now or no? Um, No, no, not that I know of. I know a couple of people has been calling around trying to get us on these fights. I even take the B side. I just want to fight somebody good, somebody with some with some good amount of experience. I want to take somebody O too, so I want to put my name on the, on the top of those rings. I want them Shakur's and all of those people to see me. Facts, bro. Yeah, what do you see yourself in uh in six months? Six months from now, I'll be signed fighting on television. You know, taking care of my family. Same thing, like, same thing I'm doing now, but just on television. Grinding. Grinding harder than it can be. I yeah. feel it kind of. Hell yeah, bro. I can see you in the ring with, like, a, like a Devin Haney one day to a, um, you've heard of a Floyd? Uh, yeah, bro, he's, yeah. he's something, bro, like. You know, they're just making his name, you know. And I mean, a lot of those guys, like a lot of those guys that's coming up now, that's in the pros now, that's name ringing high. I was in the I was in the amateurs with them. So like when I see them transfer over to pros, knowing I fought these guys and knowing we had a bond with these guys, it just be like proud of these guys. Like it's just amazing. Cause like, as you can say, Floyd, he was in the amateurs with me. Me it was me, him, Haven, Haven, Brad, Haven, Haven Brady, and a couple more. It was a couple more of these top amateurs that's on there. Jahat Tucker, yep. A lot of those. Alexander. You know, we was all at national tournament. We was all talking about it like, I'm gonna win this tournament. And then we'll walk, we'll go to the podium and be at the podium together with the with all the championships. So it was just like when I see them guys winning on TV, be like, that's what I need to be. That's what I know I need to be now. And I know, like, that I don't got the right people behind me now to get me there. But one day I'm going to get there. You will, bro. You will, bro. You got a lot of potential. I've been saying that since day one. And, shit, I'm excited to see what's next. For real. Oh, big news coming. We got some big news coming. We're just working right now. We're going to know something big coming June, July. I'm going to try to fight for my birthday in July. So we're going to know something big then. Hell yeah, bro. I'm excited for you. And Appreciate talk about, it. Talk about, like, what do you think where boxing's at right now as, like, a as a sport, 
do you feel like it's um it's where it needs to be? Kind of, sort of. Like, okay, so when I was in the amateurs, like right now we got, like our team right now, we got one of the top teams in the amateurs. They only the top team in the amateur is because, like, they ring IQ. Like, okay, like, we have they, they boxing style. So a lot of people, they get, you know, they got the boxing style where they come forward and they bull rush. Our team, Team Cartel, we got that style. Detroit, we got the style where we can relax and we like to box. And now I feel like boxing is, is starting to see us, like, boxing and relaxing and cruising with our speed and stuff like that. They're letting it, like, they're letting us, letting us win fights like this. And that's when the amateurs, like, back in the amateurs, I couldn't win fights standing there for three minutes just jabbing. Uh, 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 I had to throw 170 punches around back then when I was an amateur, but now it's just like the kids can, they can sit there and box. They can sit there and hit you with a good shot and then they might get an A count or something like that. Now, it ain't. You feel me? That's how it is now. Back then, it wasn't like that. In the pros, it's a whole totally different ball game. I'm new. I just went pro like a year or two ago, so I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting fresh to it. But the pros and like boxing now, I think like they're starting to make, they're making certain fights happen, but they're not making them as they should because there should be a lot of the top guys fighting top guys. I want to see those tough guys that say they tough, them top contenders that say they top contenders, fight them other top contenders. That's in their weight class, and a lot of people doing they always got an excuse. Oh, I got an injury. Oh, I got this. Well, a lot of people don't know my last fight. I fought with a messed up knuckle, a ligament. Injury. A lot of these fights that I've been fighting in my amateur career, I fought either sick, injured, something was wrong with me. So it's like it ain't no excuses, y'all. They everybody be trying to give excuses. It ain't no excuses. You just gotta, you y'all just ain't built for it. Like I don't, I don't like that. They, this boxing now is just getting soft. Bad. That's how I feel. And that's real. That's real talk. You know, you got this fight coming up with the, uh, you know, Ryan and Tank. You know, who do you take in that fight? Tank is going to put Dwayne in deep waters and drown him. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy to see it. It's just like, because Tank, he's a pressure fighter. Ryan Garcia, he's going to jab and try to use that check hook all day long. So Tank just has to be worried for that hook. But other than that, it's just like a basic, you know, basic fight. Two fighters going toe-to-toe, one, one got to survive. You know, it was just like, and I feel like the big puncher is going to survive. I feel, yeah. I feel it. I feel like Tank is going to survive. I feel like Tank is going to take him into deep waters and drown him. For real. Hasn't fought nobody like, like him before. So this is going to be something new for him to try something like this. And, and eight ounces too, it's a different, it's a different ball game. It's going to be, way- be a crazy fight. <laughs> this is like you know this is kind of what everyone wants to see too and like you said they've been talking about it for years it finally happened I hope don't know no nothing come in between it not happening because I want it to happen I want to see it because they've been all they've been doing is running off on the on the internet social media and stuff like that talking about how bad they want to fight like that's what I don't like is people talking about how bad they want to fight these people why don't y'all just go and make it happen yeah. Right now, I'll fight anybody. Fact. If they call me out, I'll fight them. I don't care who it is, because I know what I can do. Facts. Do you have a Do you have a certain opponent, bro, that you would like to fight, like in the in the next couple of years or in the next couple of months? Everybody, everybody in the average, everybody in the boxing game know who I've been wanting for the longest, and I will say this, and I've never said no more. Emilio Vargas. I've been wanting him since he was at 125 in the amateurs. Every time I came to 125, 132, or whatever weight class he was at, he moved up. I was hunting. So I, I really want that fight. I want the younger brother, the sweetest one out of all three of them. I want him. Yeah, bro. And they're deep too, bro, with that with that boxing stuff. But I ain't li- listen, I ain't worried about nothing. I'm gonna put listen. 
That fan base oil, I'm gonna put it all on notice. I ain't no Instagram boxer. I ain't nothing. I know what my coach, Khalil Harvey, trained me to do when I get in there is go kill. And that's what I'm trained to do. I'm gonna go get in there and I'm gonna go kill. I ain't trained to be looking sweet. I ain't trained to be trying to be the sweetest fighter or trying to look the best or trying to impress the fans. Yeah, I'm a flashy fighter that came with my style, but I'm going here to kill. It's just do or die with me. Facts, bro. <laughs> Got a fight on his hands if I get that one. And that'll be a nice that'll be a nice fight, bro. And that fight will happen right. soon, bro. I feel it. I feel it like like any fight that you want, bro, like we're gonna end up seeing you mainstream one uh really, really soon. You know, is if it's on the zone or showtime or just anything, bro. It's gonna be mm -hmm. it's gonna be really dope. And uh, how do you feel about where this though? Uh, he you know, fights he fights a weight class higher than you. you know, two weight classes higher than I fight one twenty six, he fight thirty five. So I'm gonna see him soon. You're gonna be like, all right, this is this is where it's all came up to be now, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm waiting. It's gonna be nice, bro. It's gonna be really nice. You know, these um and what like what do you think about all these pros that are former boxers? And that are doing like these little uh, exhibitions now. Uh, that ain't boxing. I mean, y'all can go to the gym and spar for that. Like, y'all getting paid to watch these people spar. We could have just pulled up to the gym, open the door, watch y'all spar with your outfits on. That's basically what it is. If it ain't not real, y'all ain't really, really sometimes because like those extra bitches, they don't really be having no head on blood. They don't be, they be like, I don't understand. Like that ain't real fighting me. Like back in the days, I remember when they used to fight, they used to train in boots, combat boots. They used to run outside and, and like work clothes, work boots and stuff like that. So like they used to be really slaves and they fought any and everybody to get to where they had to be. That's why everybody from back in the day is labeled as one of the greats. That's what I want boxing to go back to. That's what I want this to go back to. Like, everybody be ducking this person, this person, that person. No, nah, I want – make boxing great again. There you go. Make boxing that great again. There you go. And yeah, that's good. Oh, that's always good to hear, bro. And to let everyone know, bro, where they can follow you at, follow the journey to Superstar. Um, you, can, you can follow me on Instagram at Real Team Boomer. You can follow my merch page, too, at Boomer's Merch. And you can find me on Facebook at Ferris Dixon the Third, and you can also search me up on YouTube, Google, and whatever else you want to search me up on at Ferris Dixon the Third. Thanks, bro. Shoot, I appreciate you again, bro. And um, if there's anything else that you would like to plug in, bro, um, uh, yeah, I want to, I want to give a big shout out. I want to to my team, Team Cartel. They went out at the national tournament in, in Detroit, and they. Did a fantastic job. I want to thank, I want to congratulate all those coaches, Coach Rob, both Robs, Rob Mumford Jr. and the, and the dad. You know, Coach Tom, Coach K, you know, all those guys, all my guys from Detroit, even my guys from Detroit, like Lance Smith and all those guys. Like, I want to just congratulate everybody who won as a gold medalist. And I want to congratulate my little, my both of my little brothers, Thomas and little KK for KK is a 15-time national champion, and Thomas is now a five-time national champion. So me seeing them reach, get higher than what I got and go farther than what I did, it's like when I be seeing them, it's like, damn, my little brother's like, these my little brother's for real. So I just want to get him a big shout-out. And I just want to thank, you know, tell the world that I'm coming and I'm going to return. And when I return, it's going to be a movie. Thanks, bro. Shit, we'll leave it on that one right there, bro. That was a... That was a hell of an interview, bro. I appreciate you again. Y'all go check him out. His links will be in the description down below. Go check out his merch. You know, he always has some fine merch, bro. So y'all go check it out. And big thanks to my sponsors, too, man, for letting this happen. You know, major one is this my new tequila, bro, that has just been mainstream now. So y'all go check it out. You know, y'all go check them out, bro. Big thanks to them. Big thanks to, you know, Casino Boxing. Big thanks to big bro, you know, Dennis Duglin, you know, uh, 3D Boxing and Fitness in Las Vegas, bro. Thanks for uh, supporting me. 
you know, that's what's up. You know, I appreciate everybody. And it's been Ferris Dixon the third, heavy hitter. Carlito, one love, we out.